Good afternoon. Can I remind members that social distancing measures are in place in the Chamber and across the Holyrood campus? And I ask that members take care to observe these, including when entering and exiting the Chamber. And please only use the aisles and walkways to access your seat and when moving around the Chamber. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Hayley Cohen, Minister of North Esk Parish Church, Musselburgh. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, it is an honour to address you today. I wonder if you were someone who in the beginning of lockdown noticed that it appeared the birds were singing louder than before. Perhaps you, like me, in those more difficult days of lockdown, found listening to the birds, walking in the woods, and enjoying nature in general to be a source of joy, solace, and strength. We know now that it wasn't that the birds were singing louder. In fact, in some cases, they were singing more quietly, but that we humans had slowed down enough to miss them. Lockdown shone a light on how alienated we have become from the natural world around us. We filled the world with so much noise, from the literal noise of traffic to the general noise of our lives, that we failed to notice that the birds have been calling out for us to slow down and pay more attention. If you were one of those people who did hear the birds, I wonder if you're still noticing them or has life resumed its absurd pace from before? In the Gospels, Jesus encourages his disciples to look at the birds of the air as a pathway to understand how much God cares for each one of us and for the world we share. Jesus knew that when we slow down and take time to be in nature, we cultivate a greater appreciation for our own lives, each other, the world around us. And this sense of appreciation hopefully leads us to not just look after ourselves with more care, but grows within us a desire to look after the world we live in and the people with whom we share it with compassion, justice, love. In just a few weeks, Scotland will be host to COP26. With our climate in crisis, we know that there has never been a more pivotal time to slow down and listen to the needs of the world around us and to act quickly to save not just ourselves, but the whole of creation. My prayer for all of you is that you would look at the birds, that in seeing them, you would grow in appreciation for our world and that you would act out of that gratitude for all our sakes. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Cohen. 